Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back once again. Uh, this is a episode of Let's Play Boom Beach, guys, and guess what? The day that this is releasing, uh, unless I post it tonight, I guess I'll post it tonight, but on Thursday of this week, no, I probably won't post it tonight. <laughs> on Thursday of this week, guys, Boom Beach is globally launching. If you guys follow me on Twitter, it's mole underscore coc, you would have seen that. Uh, I would I retweeted that and so yeah this game is launching globally for all of you who aren't able to uh, play this game yet because you didn't figure out how to do the Canadian App Store or anything like that um, now is your chance to download it it's gonna be coming out it's great fun um, the only thing that's uh, the biggest thing that's annoying about it is that you only have one builder but the things don't take that long to upgrade um, my base is doing pretty good right now. I'm level 19. The majority of my things are fully upgraded. Why don't we go ahead and upgrade this sniper tower? It only takes two hours to get up to level 7. So the the way that this thing works is just crazy. Like, Let's see who the biggest guy globally is and see what level some of his things are. So my archer tower was just level 7, or my sniper tower. That one's level 20. So this guy's base looks freaking ridiculous. Um... So anyways, that is, uh, yeah, some awesome news for you guys who've been wanting to play this and who necessarily haven't been able to. Um, let's go ahead out here to the map, and if you guys look at this, I just got attacked and I defended all of them, uh, or I defended like the majority of them, so I defended this, defended this. Are all these the same? It looks like it's uh, notifying me uh, a whole bunch of times, but whenever you get attacked, you get gems, which is pretty sweet. Let's see if we can view the battle of this guy attacking me. Um, and see what happens. Uh, so he tries to do something. In the <laughs> he sucked is what he did. That's ridiculous. All right, so he just completely failed. Um, is this the same? Is this the same battle? Oh, crap, I just hit the wrong freaking button. Whatever. Um, <laughs> but why don't we go ahead and go on and attack right now. Um, oh, is he gone? Dang it, he is. Um, Let's see what we can find around here. So I got my resource. Jorge Yao is still sitting right here. Um, <laughs> I didn't know if it was the real one or not. I don't think that it is, but I'm keeping it there just because it's funny. If you guys don't know who that is, he was the number one uh, Clash of Clans player for a very, very long time. Uh, let's check out this resource base. I might be able to take this out, and then it'll help me when it comes to getting my resources. This little thing right here, the rocket launcher, you can see its circle uh, is right in here you can get in there and then your troops won't get shot kind of like what happens with mortars and whatnot um so honestly i'm probably just going to work my way over to that thing um and just attack that and then i can pretty much take out the rest of the base and then this uh resource base will um help me when it comes to uh needing resources <laughs> that was freaking ridiculous that i just acted like that um, all right, so let's go ahead and just heal these guys up as they're sitting right here working on all this. Um, Flamethrower is doing work, but we're going to bring them right over here, and we are going to stop these guys from shooting. Yep, and now they are completely. They should be out of range of that sniper tower. They're not, so I'm going to bring. I'm going to move the guys. I'm going to throw another flare right here on the back side of this, and it should get them out of range of the sniper tower, which it does. So now we're going to bring them back here to the very back. Once again, to keep them out of range of the sniper tower, um, and they are not. So I'm just going to go ahead and use that because I have the extra points for it. And we're going to try and take out this tower, and then this way um, we can save as many troops as possible as it comes down to the end. It looks like he is shooting one of my heavies who's probably going to end up dying by the time this thing goes down, uh, which is annoying. So honestly, I probably should have just taken. I probably should just taken that sniper tower out, but. Um, it doesn't really matter. This game is a lot of fun. I don't play it as much as Clash, obviously, especially since I have the All-Star Challenge going on. Um, but I do play it every once in a while. Um, I do like it. It's it's definitely different because when your troops... If, if, <laughs> if you're battling and your troops don't die, like right now, all those troops that didn't die, um, then I am going to get all of those back, which is really, really cool because I hate that sometimes about Clash that you can uh, just completely mess everything up uh, but once you get a a resource base like this you can completely re redesign it or whatever uh, so I always put the mortar back in here um, oops we gotta move this we'll put this guy back in here so that way it takes them a lot longer to get to it 
Um, and then we will just put this right in here since it, that can't shoot there anyways. Um, and we will bring a machine gun right in front right here. Let's bring another machine gun right in here. Move this thing back here, whatever, it's just a quarry. Uh, so put this over here, that's gonna help cover that, that's gonna help cover that. We'll leave the sniper tower right there. We will put this flamethrower back here to help us out on that point, and then we will just leave this other machine gun right there. And we're gonna be good with that new resource base. Uh, if you saw those boats at my home base when you come in, uh, resource, let's see if I get any. Uh, nope, they're not driving in right now. Um, but as you get resources, they come in on a little boat. Is that a fish? It's a shark. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> nice. All right, let's go back out here. We do still have some troops up, um, and let's see what we can find. I guess I'll just go ahead and attack some of these uh, lower base things uh, just to help take them out. Uh, I'll probably go all the way back there to the back and see if I can get a good amount of uh, tokens to help take all that out. Why did that not go out? Okay. Um, so let's go all the way back here. And we are just going to head all the way back and we will get a whole bunch of, um, <clears throat> I don't know what these coins are called, the little explosion coins at the bottom. Uh, we can get a lot of those from just going back here uh, and taking all this stuff out. I just have to make sure that they don't get taken out by those other uh, defenses. So we'll just come back here, take all this stuff out, collect all these um, as we go through it. And these machine guns really, really suck. They never do that much damage at all. Um, let's go ahead and take this out right here. There we go. And now we are going to bring them all in. Those mortars are going to suck and miss. Uh, are these still in range? Let's heal these guys up right here. <clears throat> there we go. And let's bring... There, good. Bring everybody up here. Nope, everybody comes up here. Stop it. Stop getting shot at. <laughs> All right, there. So everybody's up there now. And there we go. That missile didn't even need to go. Uh, so I might have lost a couple of troops on that. But we're going to go find another one we can take out as well. No casualties. Sweet. Um, and as you clear these areas out, you know, more up here in the future. Let's go ahead and attack this one as well. Uh, this one looks a little bit different. Oh, these cannon things suck. I hate them really bad. I wonder if four of these could take it out. Uh, one, two, three, four. Wow. Uh, yes, two of them could have taken that out. So that was a stupid mistake on my part. <clears throat> um, bring these guys in. And again, guys, the main reason that I'm showing you all this is because hopefully all of you very soon will be able to download this from the App Store, play it, and enjoy it. Um, especially as you are waiting for your army to train up in Clash and whatnot. Um, nope, you guys are going to come around right over here. You are not going to walk through those bombs. <laughs> uh, so as your troops and whatnot are training in Clash, you can go ahead and switch over to this if you want to, unless you have another a separate Clash account, then that's fine too, obviously. But Supercell, gosh, they're awesome. You know, they have Heyday. I played that a little bit. I'm not much of a farming type person when it comes to that standpoint. Uh, but I do love strategy type games, um, and this is another one of those. You guys have seen me play it a couple times. Um, the game, again, releasing very, very soon, which I'm excited about for all of y'all. Uh, let's see if we can find like another level 10. Let's attack this one. I haven't attacked these. Normally I attack, I attack other players just because I want to, uh, um, I want to get more loot from it. Uh, so this has one of those. Let's go around the side, uh, around the back right here. So we're going to go back here. Yeah, and then this guy is going to start shooting at us. There we go. Stop it. Keep coming back. Stop letting that machine gun shoot you. And we're going to freeze it again. There we go. And get them all the way back here in the corner. And now they are out of range of the big gun right there. Hopefully after they take that, uh, I will get, will I get five from it. Oh, I get three. Crap. Okay. Uh, so we'll go ahead and just take this guy out, and then they will go right there after the... Why? <laughs> Look at this guy. Yeah, you know, I'm just going to be adventurous. <laughs> I'm going to go take on this machine gun all by myself. So these guys up top, again, are just uh, taking taking their time, taking it out. Um, but this game is, is really cool because one of, one of my favorite things about it is that 
uh, you get to expand your search region so you're not just pressing search like you get to look at the water you get to zoom out you get to see everything that you can get um, and that's really cool to me uh, that they've kind of added that aspect to it there aren't really clans or anything in it um, oh gotta pop my neck there aren't really any clans or anything in it but I mean you know it's whatever so as you, you get to explore like you can see I can go right up here we'll just do it we'll explore we'll see what's there uh, so another another base is there that's another person so as you do that you get all these other people that spawn and whatnot um, but I'm gonna go ahead and head back and train up if you click on your little boat and then right here in the bottom right hand corner you can reinforce all crafts and here are the boats from the resource bases you can see so the more of those you get the more loot you get and you get the loot from your base so yeah but that is it guys thank you so much for watching I hope y'all are excited let me know when you download the game uh, down below uh, yeah definitely do it try it out you should love it I do uh, and I'll talk to you guys later thank you so much for watching you guys rock and I will see you very very soon I right? peace